Hey friends and family and all you hungry people on YouTube. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to my purple kitchen. You guys, I've had a horrible day today, but I don't want to be a Debbie Downer on my viewers of this video. Anyway, you guys, I didn't feel like cooking today. So I, I'm treating my family to a El Pollo Reggio. It looks like this. This is the bag. I hope you have one of these where you live. This is some delicious chicken. They grill it on an open flame. And um, it comes with a, a big onion. And matter of fact, after I get through with this, I'm gonna show you guys what we're eating. This is not a cooking show. I'm just showing you what I'm cooking. And today I'm not cooking, but I am getting ready to make some awesome guacamole. Everybody knows how to make guacamole and you can make yours the way you love it. But this is how Purple Penny, this is the way I love my guacamole. And I'm gonna show you guys. So all you gotta do, just sit there and watch. Here we go. Let me show you what I'm doing over here. Okay. Can y'all see this? So, I have my three avocados. They are ready to go. So, first of all, I'm going to cut these bad boys. Add them to this bowl right here. So, let's do that first. This is going to be a quick video. I'm sorry, you guys. My family is ready to eat. Just open them up like that. I forgot my compost bowl, but it's okay. We don't have a lot of trash right now. I think I'm gonna grow this seed. Okay, so you just cut your avocados open like, like this. Everybody should know how to make guacamole, but you never know. And then there's a million videos. Y'all can go out there and just Google it. But this is the way I make mine, okay? So I got my little old handy guacamole holy <laughs> i don't know what you call this but um i always start from here and it kind of squeeze it through just try to get all of this out to the bowl Oh, make sure you wash your hands, guys. Wash your hands. So all that goes in the compost. We eat so many avocados around here. I probably should have made four. But uh, these three will do us just fine. Put that here. There. That's a little bit of seed, but a lot of meat on this one. So let's get all of this in here, you guys. I'm going fast as I can so my family can dine very soon. Yeah, this might be enough for couple of apples. Get all of, all of the greatness. And you guys, you know what? I'm going to show you another avocado recipe. It's not savory. It's sweet. I might do it or film it this evening. I don't know. It just depends on how, uh, when, you know, what time we get through eating and everything. So I'm gonna make sure my family can eat first. Okay, so we have the avocado out. I don't want no hole in there. So you guys, what I'm gonna add to my guacamole is, where's my towel? I'm gonna add these seasonings and I'm gonna tell y'all what was in this bowl. Number one, lime pepper. Salt. 
cilantro and lime. Some tangent with lime. <laughs> and a guacamole blend. That is what was in my seasoning bowl, okay? Oh, I made a mess. What else am I going to add to this? Believe it or not, mayo. I always add mayo when I make my avocado mix. When I make guacamole or anything with avocado, I always add mayo because it makes it so creamy and smooth and rich. Also, I have one lime. Yep, we're going to lime it to death. I'm just going to cut it in half like so. Put it in my juicer. Yes, I have a purple juicer. Actually, this is lavender. But you know, purple penny don't play. Purple penny don't play with a purple. Okay, so. Okay, let's do it this way. Normally, I do it both ways. Then, save that. The other half. You stay right there. You don't need that much juice, y'all. So after that, real simple. Just get to mixing. I need more mayo. Everything is mixed together very well. Some people like chunky avocado. Some people like uh, chopped tomatoes. You know, I, I, it doesn't make me a difference. I think my family... They don't want tomatoes inside their avocado, so I'm just going to slice this up, lay it to the side, because we do want tomatoes. But anyway, you just incorporate everything in your little bowl. Make sure everything is mixed together. I still some see, see some seasonings in here that need to be mashed in there. Hurry up so you can get in my belly. But anyway, you guys get the gist of it. After this, what I do to my uh, guacamole, I always take the seeds and I add them back. I bury them down in there so the avocado could think it's still attached to the seed. It's not prone to turn brown as fast. If you put your seeds, don't eat the seeds. Just put them back in your guacamole and your avocado is going to think that it's still with its mama. So leave the seeds in there, you guys. I promise you. Let me taste this. Mmm. I like it. I like it like that. So this is going to go on a compost. This. I'm going to clean this off, but this is the bowl that my family will be dipping from. This is my guacamole bowl. I'm gonna go ahead and scoop mine up, man. Okay. Can y'all taste it? Mm. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, let me put the uh, guacamole to the side. Now, I wanna show you what else we will be eating. Once again, I'm not cooking tonight. We will be eating. On the sign, it says El Pollo Regio. So let me show you guys how their food looks. 
this is an avocado sauce that comes with your chicken. This is chicken. Let me move all this out of the way. It comes like this. You got your rice. You have your beans. The beans always are... I meant to ask him for uh, charro beans. I forgot. I was trying to get out of there so fast. But this is what their beans look like, you guys. Oh, you can't see. Too, too much juice on there. Uh, I'm not going to. Let me see. Let's put this in there. See, can y'all see these beans? See? Magical beans. So we got that to contend with. Also, go ahead and move that. Little salsa. They always give you, oh, these are hot too. Woo, real hot. These are corn tortillas, the white ones. And more corn tortillas. Usually they give you one flour and one corn, but that's fine. We love corn tortillas over here. So now we're getting ready to get to the good part. The chicken. Let me show you guys what their chicken looks like. And it smells so good. I wish you guys could smell this. I'm going to make a mess. Oh, my gosh. That smells so delicious. You guys. And I bought a whole chicken. This is what it looks like. And up under it, they always give you like a, a onion. I don't know if y'all can see that. Hold on. They usually give you one whole onion. So I don't know what's up with this. But uh, usually they put one big whole onion. This smells so delicious. <laughs> I'm ready to eat. You guys, so. Put that in there. I done made a mess. I'm glad my hands are clean. Let me just open this just for opening sake. Let's see what's in here. Yep, no, they didn't give us a whole onion. I'm very, very disappointed in that because that's one of their things is you get a whole entire grilled onion. It's not cut or anything, so I don't know. But in addition to this, we're also going to have some Julio's chips. This is a Texas thing. Y'all wouldn't know nothing about this unless you live in Texas, unless they import these where you live. These come from, I think, San Antonio. Started these, let me see. It says Del Rio, Texas, but I first had these in San Antonio. These chips are really good. They're uh, lightly seasoned. Also, Mateo's, this is the only salsa that I, I drink this. I will literally Pour this in a cup and drink this. I love Mateo's. So, a uh, shout out to you guys. And look, it says, not responsible for obsession. And I'm obsessed with this. This is so delicious. This is also a Texas thing. This is from Frisco, Texas. That's an hour away from me. But anyway, you guys, thank you for watching me. Make some holy guacamole. It's going to be delicious. You guys, I got to go. I would love to entertain you some more, but I can't because it's time to eat. You guys, I love you. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe if you like the content. And if you don't, leave me a message. Tell me what y'all want me to cook, what you want to see. Holla at the purple pea. Y'all, I'm your friend. I'm not a cook. This is not a cooking show. I'm just showing you what I'm doing in my kitchen. You guys, I love you. I got to go. And I'm going to try to have a better day today. Bye, you guys.